He was brought to me by the rescue I volunteer with. When I went to open the door and seen him, my heart just melted. He kind of flopped over and I was like, oh no, like there's something really wrong with you. I took him out and I put him on a blanket. He was unable to walk. He was unable to stand. He was on his side 24 seven. He just looked at me with those big old puppy eyes and I started talking to him and then he started talking to me. He did a little howl. I think that look he gave me was just kind of like a thank you for helping me. I guess that was him trusting me. I saw a puppy that was a fighter. I was like, there's gonna be a way and I'm gonna find it. Come on, you can do it. <sighs> So I drove him to Oregon to have his MRI done. I got his results back. It was very hard for me to hear it. Basically, they told me that his vertebrae in his neck area was severely enlarged, which is making him unable to walk. So I just thought, okay, you're not gonna be able to walk, fine. We'll find a way to make you able to see the world. We just started brainstorming on what can we do for physical therapy. We would use a pool noodle and wrap it up in a potty pad and I'd wedge it in between his front legs so he literally had to sit up. Get up, get up, oh. And then if we're at home, I would just take his arms and just stretch them back and forth just to make him use it. There were definitely days where I would just look at him and think like, what am I gonna do with you? But he's always been an eager puppy. He's always tried. He's always fought to do better, no matter what. That just gave me more of a reason to find a way. Come here. Come on. When he first walked, I cried. <laughs> so, because it was just like, oh my gosh, you're finally doing it. Even though it was hobbling, it still was truly a miracle to me. Once he was able to stand up by himself, we would kind of tease him, like, come get the baby food. And little by little, he would take these little steps. <laughs> He kind of walks like a penguin. He kind of wobbles a little bit. I just put him on the ground and he follows me into my clinic. Yay! I actually just started putting a leash on him now that he can walk so well. But when I have a leash on him, he has to carry the leash. Then he puts it in his mouth and he basically walks himself. Are you holding your leash? I never thought he'd make it this far, to be honest. Um, I thought I was going to have a handicapped dog this whole time, but seeing him walk and be, you know, a normal puppy, just, this is why I do what I do. I call him my miracle dog. <laughs>